Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sunkiss and this is Sunkissers. Period. And yes, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be part of Sunkiss Nation. What are you waiting on once again? If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be part of the fun here on Sunkiss Serves. I'm dishing out inspiration, fun, vlogs, food. The list goes on. You want to be a part of it. You don't want to miss it. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend that Sunkiss is here. Let's jump straight into today's video. Today's morning inspiration will be centered on the topic of identity in Christ. What it means to have our identity in Christ. Our mainstream culture has an obsession with figuring out your identity. There are so many personality traits out there. There are so many quizzes about finding out who you are, you know, different identities that you can take on, characteristics, and the list goes on. And so many of us root our identity in external things. Some of them include job, careers, success, relationship statuses, physical beauty. There are so many things out there. Even, you know, just being a parent, being a mom or a dad, some people may root their identity in that. But when circumstances start to change, that is when your world is shaken up. What happens when you lose your job? Where is your identity? You know, as a doctor, as a lawyer, as a banker, as a nurse, whatever you may find yourself doing, if by chance that thing is taken away from you, where is your identity? Success, you may define success as making money and that's success for you, but what happens when those investments don't go through and you're broke? Is your identity now, you know, shaken? what is happening. So it is very important that we as Christians understand that we were made in the image of God and our identity is found in him. Now, when you became a Christian, your identity shifted from being a stranger or a foreigner to now being a child of God. And I was doing my devotion and stumbled across this verse in Ephesians 2 verse 19. And the word of God states, you are no longer a foreigner and stranger, but you are fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household. It is such a blessing and a great honor to be called a child of God, a son or a daughter of the most high God. Your identity switched like in a matter of seconds when you gave your life to Christ. And unfortunately, there are so many people out there that are being bombarded every day with lies from the enemy that they are, you know, not loved. They are not victorious and so many things. So depression is weighing down on them because they do not fully understand the true identity in Christ. And the Bible is our roadmap, is our guide to know exactly what God says about you and me, to know exactly who God is and to know where our identity is. The Bible is our main source for that. In order to know all these things, God has given us his word to study. So it is imperative as Christians that we actually read the word of God and we hear it and we are doers of the word. We don't just read it for reading sake, but we apply everything that we hear to our lives. We have to know that we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. We have to know that we are the head and never the tail. We have to know that, you know, weapons will form, but they will not prosper against us. There's so many scriptures or so many verses in the Bible that touch on our identity, and it is up to us to read it, to meditate on that word, and to stand on it. And additionally, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, the Bible states, We are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So understand that as God's handiwork, there is a reason, there is a purpose why we are on this earth. There is something 
that you need to fulfill. I believe there are many things that we must fulfill, but there is one main purpose and a lot of other things that God has set for us to do on this earth. There is a reason why you are here and it is not by mistake. It is not by chance. And I believe that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to do according to God's will and by his strength. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So with that knowledge, understand that nothing, you know, can stop you. The sky is the limit. As long as you are hand in hand with Christ, he will see you through it. When we fully have the understanding of our identity in Christ, the devil will not be able to bombard us with lies and tell us that we're not enough and we can't do it. We will rather tell the devil how big our God is and tell mountains and tell our struggles, trials and tribulations how big our God is rather than telling God how big our problems are. We will do the opposite because we know that we carry a force inside of us and we are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. We are sons and daughters of the most high God, the God who created the heavens and the earth. Now, if your father created the heavens and the earth, you hold a high position. Think about that. He created all things and you are honored and blessed to call him your father and he calls you his son or his daughter. That is a blessing. Make sure you reflect on your identity in Christ and continue to remind yourself that you are a force to be reckoned with. Why? Because your father is the most high God. He is strong. He is powerful. There is nobody above him. There is nobody beside him. There is nobody checking our God. Okay. Until next time, Sunkiss Nation, I love you all with the love of Christ. I hope you have a great week. We are coming up on Easter. Our God died and he rose again in three days to save you and I. The biggest blessing, the biggest sacrifice that anybody could do. Catch you later, y'all. All right. Bye.